here are the ingredients for our banana pudding today. We are using almond milk. You can use any milk of choice. I have here five bananas. I'm not sure if I'll use all of these. I probably will. I have some Cool Whip, three containers of vanilla pudding. They did not have banana cream at the store, so we're just going with this. And then I have my vanilla wafers. All right, let's get started with the pudding mixture. Okay, in my mixing bowl, I'm going to add my first here to a mixing bowl. I'm going to start with two at first. I think I'll have enough room to mix both of those in here. And again, I'm using vanilla. The grocery store did not have the banana cream, which is what I prefer, but that's okay. We're going to use it what we have, okay? And for each box of these, we're going to use two cups of milk. So this is two. So I'm going to add in... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and make all three. Let me add in the third. And this here is six cups of milk. Um, excuse me, this is four cups of milk. I need to add two more. This bowl may not carry this. I may have to transfer it. Okay, and here is two more cups. We'll barely make this. Okay, and I'm going to have this on low. And we're going to mix this well. So make sure it's all scraped at the bottom. And what we're going to do, as you can see, this is starting to thicken. But I'm going to place this in the refrigerator for about 25 to 30 minutes. And while my banana pudding, or my vanilla pudding that is, is chilling, I'm going to go ahead and just start preparing my bananas. So we'll just go ahead, and these are almost very ripe, as you can see. <laughs> Perfect. I want the sweetness in here. So it's going to kind of get these prepared and we'll be ready here soon. They're breaking on me though. That's okay. I think we're going to use all of them. All righty. And I'm just going to cut these. Nothing fancy at all. The first layer is the vanilla wafers. This is my husband's favorite dessert. So we are both craving it. So I said, let me go ahead and make this for him. <laughs> Oops. And then we're going to top these with a banana. And you can, you don't have to be just perfect with putting these on, but I like to kind of get them as evenly on the vanilla wafer as possible. So you'll have a, a piece of banana with every bite. Okay, friends, I have my pudding out of the refrigerator. Now keep in mind, I did use almond milk, which if I want it to wait a little longer, it does take longer for this to, to really thicken to the consistency um, that I really want. But this is going to suffice because once I place this in the oven overnight, and we're not going to have this till tomorrow, it's going to be perfect. So just keep that in mind. If you use almond milk, it's going to be a little looser. So I'm going to just pour, I really could pour this, but I'm just going to go ahead and use a spoon. And we're going to layer the pudding, which this does look a little more milky, but it's going to be beautiful at the end. But normally you would just um, dollop this pudding here. My husband is lactose intolerant, so we have to use almond milk. But regular milk or 2% works perfectly. And really, I'm going to use it quite a bit more on here. Okay, I'm just going to take my spoon here and just drop this on. Yeah, come on off. 
Here we go. I'm going to use just half of this container on the first layer here. We want to make sure we have enough for the rest of the, to top it. Layla is really looking over here. She really wants some of this. I'm going to add my cookies. And then we're just going to add banana, of course. That's okay. I was going to add another cookie here, but that's okay. I think this is going to be perfect. Have you all made this recipe and do you add anything different? Normally, again, I add my banana cream and vanilla pudding together, but our grocery store did not have it. I was very disappointed, but that's okay. This is going to be so good, and my husband's so excited about it. So now, we're just going to repeat the process and just add the pudding. And again, I promise this is going to thicken up a lot. You'll just need to sit in the refrigerator a little bit longer than your traditional banana pudding with regular milk, vitamin D milk, or 2%. Okay? Cause I love a good pudding on mine. So I'm gonna make sure this is completely layered. I think that's enough here. All right. And just spread this on. This is not meant to be pretty right here. Not at all. The most important thing is it's, it's going to be yummy. Add the last few of my bananas. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just a few left. And then we're going to add my final layer of cookies. And it is so simple, guys. Perfect Sunday dessert or holiday dessert, Easter. And this is a perfect amount of vanilla wafers. Perfect amount. And there it is, guys. How does this look? And I like the crumbs. I like to top it with the crumbs here from the box. Layla's just over here, just eyeing me down. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. It is such an easy, easy dessert. I'm going to place this in the refrigerator. I'm going to cover this with some saran wrap. Place this in the refrigerator overnight. Now, you can put this in the refrigerator and chill for four hours and be ready to dive in, but I'm just going to allow this to chill overnight. So I will show you the final product the next day when we dive in, and I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it has been 24 hours later and we're about to dive in. So we're going to get a spoon and go ahead and scoop. Mmm, this looks so good. Is it thickened up a lot? Yeah, it yeah, is. It's good and thick too. Mm -hmm. And this is with the almond milk. So we just want to use a paper plate and we'll let Hubby take a bite. Get some more. Get a little bit more. <laughs> yes. Yeah, total, this is your favorite dessert. My favorite dessert. Second chocolate Pudding. cake. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's try it. What do you think? Hmm. I love banana pudding. It good. So we did. It's pick fantastic. It up. So yeah, it's good. good and thick. I love the texture. All right, mm -hmm. good. Well, you guys have to try it. Mm hmm.
That's right. Hubby likes his warm up, so he's gonna place it in the microwave for a little bit. Woo! English. 